the same and easier. But on that one, you all want to go head, wrist, right? Remember I talked about he won't feel this because if I'm here, I'm almost in front of him. But you gotta go out and around on it. Right? You guys are trying to drag it from over here. I'm in front. He's got head position. I'm getting around his body. See here? I'm getting around his body. Again, here, out and around. So, that motion is identical to this one. Look, I do a lot of two-on-one stuff. Um, just because, I, I mean, I developed a lot of stuff from here. I feel like when I got here, I got a lot of options. I can step here. I can use my front hand to two one to get his head down. Right? I can use that two one to, to foot hook him. He goes on my head. Right? I might bump the double. He goes wrist. I might drag. There's a lot of stuff, and so I don't like to just stay in basic guys all the time. And that's that's not a hard tie. I don't feel like people working it. If I'm going to my underhook, I will either right just bang a guy down front head, scuff him, slide into my underhook. And when I go underhook, I go elbow against the rib to the lat. I go hook on the shoulder, and I pressure his head. And who's got head position? Huh? Right, right. I have control the situation. The guy doesn't want me to be there. Same as that two on one. I don't, he doesn't want me to be here because I can start dropping, right? I can start peeking through. Run head to get into it. Stuffing. Passing. I know some guys are just. Bang! Oh. They just bang into their underhook right here. Right, I can go miss the shots up here. Right, got in my underhook. Elbows down inside. Hands on the shoulder. Head position. Austin, awesome. now we might get in this fight. We're sitting here playing this game with the hands. I'm sure you guys have been here seeing it, right? Okay. He gets hand control. Damn it. Now he takes head position. Double damage, right? You think he feels comfortable? Huh? Better than he was. And what's he doing with his body weight? He's leaning. Now this one's easier because his hand now just comes right underneath. And you gotta go out and around. That one people lean on you all the time. Here, in the position. I can go whether he ha I have his wrist or whether he has mine. It's better if you learn it when he's got yours because he feels real good. He feels like, okay, I'm still fighting an underhook, but I got head position, I got his wrist, can't do anything, right? He's leaning on me. As this one's coming around, my feet and hand go at the same time they were running. Take that weight away from him. Take that wall he's leaning against. Get rid of it for him. That's where I'm my drag. Go him slide in here, bang him out. He bangs back in, okay, bang him out. We're that game. I'm driving. He's leaning. He's got my wrist. Here we go. Behind that armpit again. The finesse part is what? Rarely would I just bam hit position. Wrist, wrap. Right. I usually, if I if I pick up on something when I'm wrestling a guy, whether he's got an oven, if I'm wrestling a guy, okay. I'm saying to myself right now, like, okay, there's okay, an arm track later on. Right, get out of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rest it here. Yeah. Yeah. I start thinking about that drag. I don't typically just bang and go on it. I want to make sure I get him leaning and leaning. And keep getting back there. Keep getting back there. He's got wrist. He's got head position. Meditation. Questions? All right, one, two.